It says, in our own time, Pope Francis has publicly signed a document affirming the pluralism and diversity of religions are willed by God in his wisdom through which he created human beings. Now, <clears throat> that should sound familiar to you because I've done a video on this, in fact, several, on the Abu Dhabi house and the document that Pope Francis signed there. And when it speaks of the pluralism and diversity of religions being willed by God, some people thought that this meant God wills error. In other words, you know, God doesn't really have any truth. All ways are the way to, to heaven. You know, all these different conflicting religions, they're all true, which would, of course, be absurd and heretical if that's what Pope Francis is saying by God wills all the diversity of religions. So that would be heretical if that's what he meant. But what did he mean? Well, we'll, we'll see here uh, from Schneider himself. He doesn't tell this to us in credo. He just merely throws out the accusation. But he doesn't show us what Pope Francis has said in reference to that accusation directly to Bishop Schneider. You heard that correctly. Rather than skip all over this document, I'll just take you to the relevant parts. This is from an article. Bishop Schneider, Pope's revised diversity of religions takes uh, take remains insufficient. This was on October 29th, 2019 by Schneider himself. Okay, so he is the author of this. And this is on uh, 1 Peter 5. And I will put a link to it in the show notes so you could take a look at it. Because Schneider had spoken to Pope Francis specifically about this accusation and concern. Now watch this. He's asked, Your Excellency, was Pope Francis's clarification of the Abu Dhabi document at the April 3rd, 2019 Wednesday general audience sufficient in your view? And what are your thoughts on his remarks? Now, already you have to ask the question, hey, what audience on April 3rd, 2019? Schneider didn't tell me anything about an audience clarifying this. I'm part of Pope Francis. So you mean to tell me Pope Francis has clarified this in a general audience publicly? And Schneider never told us about this in credo? You heard correctly. That is accurate. Well, here's what he says. At the Wednesday audience on April 3rd, 2019, Pope Francis spoke these words, quote, Why does God allow many religions? God wanted to allow this. Scholastic theologians used to refer to God's permissive will. He wanted to allow this reality. There are many religions. Now, permissive will, what is that in reference to? Okay, permissive will is God doesn't actually want this to be the case, but because he allows for free will, he will allow his creatures to do something sinful. Even though he doesn't want them to do something sinful, he will allow them. I'll give you an example. Let's say Bishop Schneider uh, has accused the Pope of teaching heresy, which he has. He has signed a document doing that to which he has never repudiated to this day. He has done that. Um, he is mistaken, though, correct? Yes. So is that an instance of Schneider unintentionally bearing false witness against the papal magisterium? Yes. Is that a problem? Yes. Is that is that something that God wills uh, directly? No. Of course not. God does not will bearing false witness, but he allows it. He permits the bearing of false witness whenever Schneider does this against the Pope. He permits it because he allows creatures to abuse free will, to say things based on ignorance or whatever the case may be. God knows that murder occurs does he wish someone to be murdered? Does he directly will that? No, but he permits it. So when we speak of permissive will, that's what we're referring to. He permits it. And insofar as he permits it, we could speak of God willing those things, not directly, not actively, 
but in his permissive will. This is just kind of a basic distinction that we discuss in theology whenever we talk about God's will. And so for Pope Francis to say God wills the diversity of religions in his permissive will, that's perfectly orthodox. That's 100% Catholic. That's always been Catholic. Of course, God wills it in that sense. God is sovereign, right? And so nothing is happening outside of his control. He permits it to occur. <clears throat> so creatures creating false religions, that's not outside of God's permissive will. He allows that. He permits it. So there's nothing wrong with what Pope Francis has said. Now, Schneider knows this clarification. It has been made public. Pope Francis has publicly made that clarification. But that clarification from Pope Francis did not receive any real traction in the news. All that we heard was Pope Francis teaches heresy. We didn't really hear, but hold on, no, he explains and clarifies what he meant. Now, we always say, hey, the Pope could be more clear. Well, here you go. He was more clear. But unfortunately, the media doesn't show you those things. So is it really an issue of the Pope not being clear or is it an issue of the media being very biased? I'll let you decide, but unfortunately, Schneider doesn't show us this information that he himself is aware of. He doesn't show it to us in credo. What's worse is Pope Francis had directly told this to Schneider in a face-to-face -face conversation. So it's not that just Schneider is aware of a papal audience. Schneider spoke to the Pope face-to-face, -face, and the Pope told him, directly, one person standing next to each other, Pope Francis says to Schneider, I'm referring to the permissive will. Unfortunately, Schneider doesn't show that to you in credo. He lends you to believe that the Pope has taught heresy. But he didn't tell you this other side of the story, and it's something that he was aware of. So this was a voluntary an informed decision on part of Bishop Schneider to not show you the facts which change the entire situation and exonerates Pope Francis. I am not attributing malice to him. I'm not saying that he intends to deceive. What I am saying is that he intentionally chose not to show this to you. Maybe he thinks in his mind he has a justifiable reason for it, so I'm not attributing malice or deception to him, but this was a, an intentional and willful and informed decision on part of Schneider not to show this to the readers. Make of that whatever you will. I'll uh, continue to show you the interview here. It continues. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Schneider says the aforementioned remarks of Pope Francis at the April 2019 Wednesday general audience are a small step towards a clarification of the erroneous phrase found in the Abu Dhabi document. Nevertheless, they remain insufficient because they do not refer directly to the document and because the average Catholic and an almost all non-Catholics neither know nor understand the meaning of the theologically technical expression, permissive will of God, to which I ask, well, why didn't Schneider help people understand this truth? by not disseminating this false claim in credo, or at least if he does it, at least put a footnote saying, and by the way, Pope Francis has clarified this. Here's what permissive will means, and here's where he's not teaching heresy. Schneider was in a privileged position. If he believes that Pope Francis hasn't sufficiently explained this to everybody, Schneider was in a privileged position to help the Pope with that. Rather, instead of helping the Pope with that task, he actually chose not to show these things to people, which does what? Further exasperates the issue, further causes confusion, further brings a lack of clarity. So if he is going to say the Pope needs to be more clear, why doesn't Bishop Schneider help the Pope become more clear by showing people what the Pope has said? It continues. Uh, 
The Holy Father answered at once, saying that one must explain the phrase in the Abu Dhabi document regarding the diversity of religions in the sense of the permissive will of God. So Pope Francis did tell Schneider directly, and this is public, this is public information, he did tell him directly the Abu Dhabi document phrase is in reference to the permissive will of God. And Schneider told Pope Francis, since this phrase enumerates the objects of the wise will of God indiscriminately, putting them logically on the same level, the diversity of the male and female sexes must also be willed by God by his permissive will, which means that he tolerates this diversity as he might tolerate the diversity of religions. Pope Francis then admitted that the phrase could be misunderstood, so he admits that there was a lack of clarity initially. And said, but you can tell people the diversity of religions corresponds to the permissive will of God. So Pope Francis tells Schneider face to face directly, you can tell everybody what I mean by permissive will of God in the Abu or by the Abu Dhabi document is the permissive will of God. You're free to tell everyone that. And he even clarifies it in a Wednesday audience. Now, again, let's look at the rest of what Schneider says in response to this, to which I replied, Holy Father, please, will you tell the entire church this? I left my verbal request with the Pope also in this written form. Francis kindly answered me with a letter dated March 5th, 2019, in which he repeated his words from the audience March 1st, 2019. In other words, Pope Francis did just as Schneider asked. He clarified it. He did just that. He went in his audience, which was, again, to summarize, was April 3rd, 2019. So after his discussion with Schneider face-to-face, -face, he does clarify publicly. You didn't hear about it in the news. You still, to this day, heal the lie in the news. You still hear the distortion in the news. But you didn't hear the clarification from Pope Francis. And Pope Francis did exactly as Schneider asked. He clarified, rather than Schneider supporting the Pope in this endeavor of this clarification, which he received explicit permission to do, and Pope Francis himself did, rather than Schneider helping people understand and clarify, he chose not to show this and rather disseminated the false impression and the false accusation in credo we'll look at it again in our own time again in the category of heresy right honorius is a heretic in the category of heresy in our own time pope francis has publicly signed a document affirming the pluralism and diversity of religions are willed by god in his wisdom through which he created human beings and so he deliberately chose not to show this to you. I don't know his intentions, don't know his motivation, so I'm not going to speculate on those. I am just telling you the facts. He deliberately, with full knowledge, chose to not show this to you. And it's not as if he has come out and said, hey, this one got by me in the editing process. I, you know, something slipped up. Here's how he has never come out and said that. So unless he explains, this is clearly an instance where he presented a false accusation and did not show you what exonerates Pope Francis. So please stop saying it's Pope Francis who was the main one creating the confusion. In this particular instance, there was some lack of clarity from Pope Francis. But then he clarified, did Catholic media support him in that? No. Did Bishop Schneider support him in that? No. Instead, Bishop Schneider continued to perpetuate the confusion by doing this in Credo. So who's really causing the confusion now? Is it Pope Francis or is it his critics? I'd say maybe 10% of the time Pope Francis has been unclear and caused some confusion. But I'd say probably 90% of the time the confusion that we see surrounding Pope Francis is from the critics, either distorting, spinning, or neglecting to report what the Pope actually said.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see the full video, go to the link in the description. And also, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. God bless. Are you a Catholic thinking about converting to Eastern Orthodoxy? Or are you a Protestant discerning whether or not to become Catholic or Eastern Orthodox? If so, I have the book just for you. It's called Answering Orthodoxy and engages all of the arguments that Eastern Orthodox use against the Catholic Church. I respond to all of them. I show that they are in error and in fact they're inconsistent. Because the things that Orthodox are objecting to are in fact found in their own tradition. So the fullness of the faith can only be found in the Catholic Church. Check out the book right now at shop.catholic.com for your copy today.